Yeah, we're back at the Shark Channel boat launch again. I know, day three. But I'm over here because I want to do a few little tweaks to things. Uh, work on that mullet snagging, snagging techniques. Uh, super fun, super challenging because I'm not very good at it yet. But uh, I think if I do a few tweaks, I think I'll be a little bit more optimized. Um, my mullet buddies are all there and jumping. I don't know if you can see them there. You can tell the, the wind has dropped considerably is by the flat calm it is. Huge difference, so I think that'll alter things. Uh, it'll be meaning in the next couple of days it's supposed to be like this, so I'll be able to get out and do some normal fishing. Uh, also, I was back because uh, making the tips video on shark uh, launch uh, tips video, I stayed up till about 3 o'clock finishing that, but then I found out I uh, screwed up two clips. Uh, the camera wasn't working. So I had to stay up until 7, until the sun came up, to come back out here, film those two clips, and then go back home, edit it, upload it, and then send it off to you, post it to YouTube. So it's been an exciting day. So anyways, one more day out here, and we're going to see what we can do. Since it's a nice, calm day, my buddies are still around, we're going to do an, a little bit more advanced recon. So we're going to go swim with the mullet and see what it looks like underneath there. Maybe see some shark buddies, harpin buddies, barracuda buddies. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. Ah, uh, well, you can see how murky it is underwater there, so that's why visibility is so important. Even now, it's, like I said earlier, it's, it's pretty good, but it gets so dusty that it's not really beneficial for this. And fishing is a little bit tougher, and the fish don't like it down here. They're more used to the, the clear water. But, what you gonna do? So, I think we'll go back to plan A, which is snagging. I'm uh, doing a couple of mods. Moved the uh, weight, went to an egg bank sinker and moved the uh, weight below the hook. So I still got that bigger treble on the bottom. And I went to a double, triple, well, triple trebles. I've got one on just a little uh, loop. And then I've got one just how I had it before. So we're going to start giving this a try and see uh, if it helps out with the, uh, the good old snagging. There we go. What's that? That's not it's already been on my last two videos. <laughs> Snagging mullet. <laughs> Waiting for the big ones later. Thank you. Getting in the swing of things here. That's a good one. And caught in the backside. It's for minimal damage. Nice. All right, this makes number six. So I'm actually going to put him on a rig and tow him around a bit. Um, I'll use the ugly stick for this dude, and then I am going to uh, 
submerge that bucket by the boat launch so I don't have to keep dumping water in it since I'm going to be so close to the launch anyways. And then we can go from bait catching to fishing. Deal with it and since I'm going to be right around the launch anyways, I'm just going to submerge the bucket. I've got I think five mullet in there. I'm just going to tie it here so it doesn't float away. And then anytime I need a bait, I'll just come and grab it. And then I'll have to keep worrying about filling it up. And I've got one on the hook around there until the sun goes down. So I'm just going to twirl it around from here for a little bit. Well, that's not very fair. Those sneaky bastards. Stuff is swirling out there where my bait is. Also, the school of mullet is there. See if anything happens. Hopefully they didn't steal my bait. Alright, we've got something on. I think. There we go. Yep. There's our barracuda. <clears throat> Oh no, it came off. No. Damn it. Spit it. Okay, something's on it. I'm going to let him eat it this time. Think. Nope. Damn it. We're doing so well. We're not doing so good tonight. I am 0 for 4 on the mullet so far. I've got two left. I'm not sure what the hell is happening. I'm just not getting a very good hook set. Alright, this is the big boy. Mullet. Make sure we don't lose him. Open up. Open up. There it goes. I'm pretty certain it's the uh barracudas that are messing me up all right nice one there put this guy out to work and see what we could do It literally got taken as soon as I put it outside the uh, the kayak, and that fucker already took it. Freaking no! I might still have the bait. You still on there? You still alive? Nice. All right. I literally put it over the side and it jumped and whacked it. So, ended up the day 0 for 6. Not good, okay? Um, then kind of taking a look back and kind of reviewing it, I think I've got it narrowed down to improve that uh, problem area there. So, one of the issues I think was the cause was I was being lazy and still using the same original wire trace that I caught that last big tarp in and the wire had gotten a bit kinked up and it was kind of coiled up 
and what would happen is that the bait, the fish were taking the bait and inhaling the hook and everything just like they're supposed to, but that wire being all kinked up didn't allow that hook to find the corner of the mouth like it's supposed to because it's all coiled up. So the fix for that is put a new piece of trace on it or possibly just run straight wire. Uh, the second issue or fix I think is to maybe, even though I love that uh, mullet chasing, especially that new way of uh, snagging, is to go back to the uh, grunts and pinfish. Uh, they are a smaller profile, so they tend to be consumed all in one bite. Not uh, like a mullet where they can grab the back half or just the body and totally miss the hook. So if I go back to that, I think my hookup ratios will be a lot better than 0 for 6. I'll just see, have to see if they will aggressively take those at night time. I've had a problem in the past, so we'll have to see how that goes. And then the third part of it is after diving in and taking a look up from the bottom up, seeing how much that sun sets a background where I have a feeling during the daytime it might not be getting as many bites because they could see this heavy mono leader and that wire trace too easily with that uh, sun as a background all lit up. So my resolve on that is, is during the day maybe I'll step it down to 30, 40 pound leader. Uh, if I'm going to run the wire trace, if I'm getting bite offs, uh, maybe just a short two inch piece of uh, wire trace and then see how that goes during the day if my bites improve and then at nighttime switch it back and go back to the real heavy leader wire trace and then just guaranteed I'm not going to get any bite offs. But anyways, those are the fixes I think I need to implement, get my ratio back and uh, land a couple of those fish that are out there. Definitely plenty of action. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Not sure if it's going to be another one of the uh, shark uh, boat ramps or I think I might probably go to the backcountry tomorrow. So anyways, see you later.